Breaking news, my wonderful people. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan yesterday met with Peter Obi. As soon as after meeting with Peter Obi, he consulted IBB. That's Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida, former military head of state. He consulted Abu Salim, you know, and others, and meeting them in a crucial meeting, okay, to look at the situation of the country. Now, let me tell you something with Nigeria. We all know the truth. We all know the person who could possibly bring about a change. You know, I know, we know. We know those who could possibly do something different. And Nigerian students will not have to be having what we call ASU strike. So much so that education will be prioritized. So that, you know, the needs are met. They don't need to make a demand. There is someone, the Minister of Education is monitoring education. Making sure that things are done decently and in order. Yes? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Not just education. All together, the totality. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan. Consult IBB Abu Salim hours after meeting with Peter Obi. Barely hours after he met with the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, Former president of Nigeria, good luck, Ibele Jonathan, yesterday held closed door meeting with former military president General Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida, IBB, and former head of state General Sunny General Abu Salim Abubakar. Jonathan met with former leaders in Mina, Niger State. He was received at about 1:30 p.m. at the Mina International Airport. He spent about an hour each in the residence of the former president, discussing matters of state's importance. Recall that the former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, had also met with the two former heads of state barely two weeks in Mina. Ego, speaking to journalists after his meeting with Abubakar, Jonathan urged Nigerians to select leaders who will take nation, nas the nation and the national interest important above self gratifications the former president said we all wish our country well especially for the young people vote wisely don't throw away your vote elections are coming they have a selection of persons to pick from you believe you will lead or who you believe will lead us well serve us well the leader is also a servant and a president you must be ready to serve somebody that will take the interest of all not of himself the interest of the country somebody that will not compromise on values someone who is interested genuinely in the nation he asks that what we need now in 2023 general election are nigerians who are ready to take the bull by the horn we must put nigeria first first of all that will give us the opportunity to look at the criteria with which we are judging for, from who will be Nigerian's leader. Asked why he was visiting Mina, he said he is the most young among all the former presidents from time to time. I used to go around and greet them for some time now. I have not seen General Abu Salim, so there is nothing special about the visit. It is a regular visit that I do normally. Jonathan added, we are talking about election. You know, he chairs the National Peace Committee and that ties to midwife the peace process during election. There is no much pressure on him so that the 2023 election is conducted free, fair, in an environment that will be peaceful and love. And whoever he speaks becomes the will of the people. Confirming his meeting with Jonathan, Peter Obi had in a tweet said, I recently visited my senior brother, Jonathan, to exchange views on the real serious interest on the, nas on the nation's interest. So my wonderful people, these are some of the things that are happening. Uh, after meeting with Peter Obi, you can listen to the advice yourself. And whatever decision you take with this advice is up to you. Whatever decision you take with the advice. Now, if somebody is advising you, Okay, the person is not putting compulsion on you. It's not, it's not necessitating that you must do it here, now, and now. 
But what that means is that the person is giving you heads up. It's bringing you into a perspective that this is happening and that um, you could possibly do A, B, C, D, Z. Yeah, with all that is currently at your disposal, these are some of the possibilities of what you can do. And so Peter will be, has, is saying all he should see because any man, okay, because some people are very arrogant. They will not even want to. I'm not saying that the former leaders, they've all done well. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. But again, even if your father, if you grow up and you say you want to become a pastor, okay, but your father is a herbalist, does not mean you will discard your father, disregard him, have no respect for him and say, I is a herbalist. Me, I'm a pastor. Ah, I can't deal with my father. I can't do this. I can't do that. You don't do that. You honor, respect your father like you should. Yeah, you give him his due respect. You honor him. You love him. You appreciate him. He's not, you don't have to do what, you don't have to do his bidding or whatever he says you should do. No, that's not the point. That's not the point at all. But you must respect, honor if you have to, so that's exactly what Peter Obey is doing. They may, may again conditionally, not have done all the right things. They may not have kicked all the right bosses when they had opportunity to rule. They may have done things that, in fact, you want to hold them responsible and accountable. However, when a man wants to get to that position, you have to go back, go back to your roots. Because it's in the foundations, you can make some necessary correction. That will have a lasting impact. If you notice that there is a crack on the wall. It's not for you to just go and stitch it up. And just patch it up. and just No. You have to take a deeper look at that crack. Where is it coming from? Where is the crack and how is it going? Because if you patch it up. It may still break. So when you have fixed the foundation. And the foundation is fine. Don't worry about the crack. It will. So long as you fix the foundation. You are sure that the, 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 the crack. Will become fixed up. So these are some of the things that are sincerely happening. And Nigerians, it is time to forge ahead and to ensure that we are having good leaders and honest people who could possibly, okay, help us in the, in the direction of the affairs of this country so that we can have a nation that we are proud of. The days of allowing or letting some individuals, some people to just come into our political space all in the name of leadership and the makes the red this country should be far and should not longer be respected or viewed as a perspective. We must begin to align on the on the premise of what we want. Okay, how is the nation? How are things going on? If we can begin to put those things in order, then we can begin to see that truly, sincerely speaking, we, we are making progress, we are moving forward, and things can become what it ought to be. So we need, we, need, we need to begin to put all that into perspective. Nigeria is a nation that does not belong to some people. It belongs to us. So let's not give our opportunity and our chance to those who do not care. Bye for now.